We're five and a half years into the Obama presidency, and already a lot of the issues that President Obama has been grappling with have found their way into parts of American culture. People are going to die. I can't let that happen. You've got TV shows like The Good Wife, which talks about the NSA spying. You've got TV shows like Parks and Recreation, which have confronted the birther issue. You have artists who have done pictures and paintings about drones and the surveillance state. I think the most interesting one currently is the new Captain America movie, which is out in theaters. S.H.I.E.L.D. takes the world as it is, not as we'd like it to be. This isn't freedom. This is fear. The plot for the movie was really inspired by President Obama's kill list that uh, the New York Times reported on. Hey, Cap, how do we know the good guys from the bad guys? If they're shooting at you, they're bad. The moral dilemma for Captain America in this movie revolves around this question of the government uh, having specific targets to go ahead and kill. One of the interesting things here is that so much of the modern presidency, and Obama's White House does this exquisitely, is aimed at sort of managing the president's image, managing his legacy and how his story is told, both contemporaneously but also in the future. And this is one way in which they can't really uh, manage that effectively. Coming into the White House, he wasn't necessarily aiming to be the president known for the heavy use of drones against terrorists, but that's where the cultural references seem to be popping up the most. Years down the road, when people think about what was the Obama presidency about, what were the things that were kind of the key moments that are going to be remembered, and some of that is obviously in history books, but some of that's going to be captured in the public imagination through the art that, that endures, through the plays that are kind of you know, produced and reproduced on Broadway again and again, and through the books that are on the shelves, and the movies and TV shows. The price of freedom is high. And it's a price I'm willing to pay.